welcome to my channel thanks so much for clicking on this video Sophie Society and welcome to my channel so basically what I'm going to be doing is just a small get ready with me um obviously we're all in quarantine so I'm really not going nowhere but I just got a ring light and I was really excited to do something so I was like let me just do my hair and makeup real quick and see if the kids want to watch it so I just did these two space buns edges and this light beat on the face and if you guys are interested in seeing how I accomplished this keep on watching hey girl so um I always do my hair first because I like for my hair to kind of be baking or setting while I am doing my makeup y'all please ignore my dog um i recently got a puppy here he is he's only six months he's a maltese his name is nipsey okay so i'm gonna just take um some face serum this is a brightening hemp face oil serum with vitamin c in it and I'm not going to take a lot, just a little bit, so that I have something under my makeup. And I'm also going to put on a little bit of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer here and right here. If y'all can see a shadow, I'm still working on my setup, my lighting, all that good stuff. So just bear with me okay back to the hair okay so first what i like to do is just kind of spray my hair if y'all have natural hair then you know it's just a little bit easier to work with and maneuver through if it's a little moist y'all got old season season three of real housewives of atlanta playing in the background a mess so what i'm gonna do is just split my hair in half obviously I'm going to just clip that one side away and just work on this side for right now. So for this section, I'm going to respray it with some water. This is the Macadamia Natural Oil um, Nourishing Leave-In Cream. And I love this stuff so much. And it's for text. It's a leave-in conditioning texture cream. So it's for textured hair. And I love it. And I'm using this so that my hair has some moisture. I'm gonna take my favorite gel in the entire world, Eco Styler Gel. This is the olive oil one. And I just love this stuff so much. Okay guys, now we have the two uh, pigtails in, so what I'm going to do now is make these into little space buns. These are the buns, and what I'm going to do now is lay my edges, because that's just what I do. I'm an edge layer. A look is not complete if my edges aren't laid. Like. I don't know if it's in my blood because I'm black. I don't know because nowadays white people are kind of getting into the edge thing. A little weird. But anyways. Um, so yeah, I'm about to lay my edges. I'm just going to take a toothbrush that I use for my hair only and my eco Sour Gel. And... <laughs> Which is an essential key for long lasting edges. I'm just gonna take like a satin or you can do a silk scarf. Wouldn't really recommend cotton. Uh, I am going to lay my edges. Okay, now that the hair is done, I'm going to go ahead and pop over to the makeup. Okay, we're back for the makeup. So what I do first, um, and this is just what I do. I'm not a makeup artist, but I am you. I went to school for media communications, not beauty, cosmetology. So, what I do first is start with my eyebrows. 
Okay, zoomed in for you guys. So um, the brow inspo that I've been really into lately is Megan Thee Stallion with the mixture of Nikita Dragon. Both of their brows are just very nice. They're thin, but they're still like bam, but they're not like whoo. So those are the brows that I have been inspired by lately. So I've been trying to mock them, but still making it cool for my face. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dip a small angled brush in this pomade. And let me tell y'all, a little bit goes a long way. This stuff is very pigmented. Very, 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 very. So I'm just gonna go under the brow. Ever so lightly, because this stuff, like I said, is very pigmented, okay? And it does not take much at all. And I'm just gonna go ahead and underline the other brow. Now I'm just gonna take the brush and just push um, the product up into the brow. Okay, obviously the brows look super crazy right now, but we all know that this is a part of the process. What I'm going to do is take the spoolie and just go through the brows. Um, and what this does, which I really like, it just makes them not as harsh. And we're done. <laughs> just kidding. Now I'm gonna take my concealer and this small, small Revlon angled brush um, here. And the concealer that I'm gonna be using to clean up my brows is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toffee. I just love a good faded brow. I'm gonna go on the top of the concealer um, and blend that out and then I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back and my brows are done. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? I've been trying to go for a more natural approach and not such a bold statement brow. Anyways, so after I've did the brow, I'm actually going to take a little bit more of my concealer and put just a bloop on my eyeballs. And I'm gonna take, um, this is a Real Techniques crease prep brush and it's kind of angled. And that's what I'm gonna use to blend out this concealer on my eyelids. If you're new here or if you've been here for a while, um, my channel is or was mainly a blog channel, but I really wanna try to transition my channel into more of a lifestyle channel. So it's definitely not like a beauty channel. I'm just doing it get ready with me because I enjoy watching those. But um, like more of a lifestyle channel. So maybe like my skincare routine or DIY, since I really do love doing, I really love doing like um, do-it-yourself projects, maybe like room makeovers, bathroom makeovers. That's coming soon. Day in my life or like my morning puppy routine, stuff like that. I don't really want it to be a vlog channel that much anymore because I just don't think my vlogs are that interesting. Not yet, maybe because I have a boring life. Maybe when my life like gets a little more interesting, I'll start back vlogging, but I was mainly vlogging throughout college now that I've graduated. Woo! Um, yeah, I just don't really, I'm not really interested in vlogging my day-to-day -day life anymore, not right now. So yeah, anyways, back into the makeup. So for the eyeshadow, and I love neutral, I'm going to be using both the Urban Decay Naked uh, Ultimate Basics palette, which looks like this. And I'm also, I might be using the Anastasia, Anastasia Subculture palette, which looks like that. What I'm gonna do first is take the color Fudge from the Subculture palette, which is a nice brown shade. And I'm going to pop that here. Next, I am going to take Roxy and a mixture of extra butter from the Urban Decay palette. I'm gonna take this and put it um, kind of right under the brow, but not exactly, just kind of over where I just put that darker brown shade. And I'm just gonna pop that there. And I'm just, I got a clean uh, fluffy brush and I'm just blending these two shades here, which are blow and pregame and mix them and this is going to be for my lid well first 
time to set my brows in place, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Sassia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. And I'm literally just going to wipe over them. As y'all saw, my eyebrows are very, very thin. Um, they're just super duper thin. I've been thinking about getting microblading done, but it's honestly so expensive. I ain't gonna lie. I love my girl Rihanna. But I have the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner, and it is a nice matte black, and it, it's really long lasting, like it lasts a really long time, but I'm not a big fan. And I think it's because of the applicator brush. It's a felt tip and then it almost has like a ball on the on the tip of it. And it's just, you can't really get that precise. <sighs> I'm not a big fan. What I am a big fan of, which is super affordable. This was like $7. The NYX Matte Liquid Liner. And it has a brush tip. This stuff is the GOAT. Love this stuff. So I'm not gonna do a wing today, even though I do love a good wing. I'm just gonna line my um, eyelid. And I mainly do this just to kind of blend the um, my eyelash band, the band of my eyelashes. So now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the face. So what I like to do, I'm going to take my same LA Girl Pro Concealer in Toffee and put this under my eyes. This is a new concealer that I've been wanting to try because I've heard a lot of good things about it and this is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer and this is in the color deep caramel. I'm just going to take like one and kind of mix it. Now. I'm gonna let that dry down just a bit. So, uh, and I'm just going to blend. Cause I do like a shiny forehead. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna go on a clean part and get that off my nose. And as y'all can see, I do have definitely like imperfections right here. Um, like the lower part of my face, obviously. Um, so just to kind of help, sometimes, normally this, like all this isn't here. I usually have a little bit, not as much. Um, but I am going to take this concealer and it has an applicator tip and I'm gonna put just like a little bit over all this just so it does blend a little bit and I'll use this and I'll just blend that over that now you guys I'm gonna keep it a buck with you normally I use the airspun loose face powder for under my eyes and I got this trick from Aaliyah J, the one and only. And this powder looks like this. Like you wouldn't even think I would use this for my skin complexion, but that's what I use. I really wanna get the Laura Mercier powder in the deep, the loose one, but I saw this at Target and it's from Black Radiance and it's in this color, which is Honeymoon. And so I was like, let me try it. So I'm gonna try it. What I'm gonna do is mix the two powders. So I'm going to put some in the top of this, the light one, and then put some of the dark in there. Give it a shake. I gotta shake the room. Hey. And I'm mixing. But now I'm going to pick up some of that. Well, first, one more time, let me go. Make sure ain't nothing creased up on me in those few seconds. I don't bake, I literally just kinda press it in and wipe also at the same time. Okay, and then of course I'll put just a little bit right here. Now, 
still not done. Um, that's there, that's on the face. So now what I'm going to do is take a little bit of my face powder and put this over the rest of my entire face. And this is just the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in Deep. And I'm just gonna take this Real Techniques blush brush, but I use it for a powder brush. And I just kind of go over the black radiance contour palette um, in dark to deep this is a um, Sonia Kashuk wide contouring brush I'm kind of like pushing it up too as I'm doing it and I don't do my forehead um, sometimes well Sometimes I will get up under here though, you feel me? Cause this double chin is in full effect. What I'm gonna do now is take one of these like random just sponges here and I'm going to do the whole thingy with that same powder that I just mixed up. Okay, got that together. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to wipe that away. Okay, that is wiped away. Now what I'm gonna do is spray my face and I have the um, Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Well, actually, I'm not really going to wear specifics, so forget that. I'm gonna save my good stuff, and I'm gonna use, this is the e.l.f. Beauty Shield. Um, I'm gonna use this. While that's on, I like to take the beauty thingy um, and kind of just bounce it all around my face. And now, while my face is just a smidget damp. I'm gonna take my Bobbi Brown highlighter in Afternoon Glow. This is my Sonia Kashuk um, fan highlighting brush. I'm just gonna pick up just a little bit. I'm not the biggest fan of highlighting. Just because like, um, well I do like highlight on my nose though. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. A smidge on the forehead because like I said I like a nice glassy forehead okay guys I'm back and I just put on some lashes these are the uh, wispy lashes from Ardell I really like these because they're very um, natural kind of looking so now I'm gonna take that uh, Urban Decay mascara I showed y'all and I'm going to put just a little bit at the bottom uh, I always admire the people who can do a really good bottom lash, or I guess who have good bottom lashes. I don't. Now what I'm going to do is do my lips, and we are pretty much done here. First, I'm going to line my lips. I don't know which one I should use. These are both Milani lip liners, very creamy. And this is in Saucy Toffee, Saucy Toffee. And I'm going to line. Now I'm going to take my Lorac um, Pro Lip Gloss in Southern Belle. I am from the South. And it's very pink and I'm going to see how this is looking. And on top of that, I'm going to take an e.l.f. lip gloss in Bubbles. And it has kind of like hints of glitter in it, if you guys can see that. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of this. And yes, so this is what the lip looks like. So yeah, guys, this is the completed look here. 
Um, yeah, just to get ready with me. This is just what I would do if I was actually going somewhere, but we're in quarantine, so you know what I'm saying. But if you guys enjoyed my video, enjoy my personality, whatever, what I got going on, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, please help us out okay so yeah and i will see you guys in my next video thanks so much for watching and be on the lookout for uh the next video coming up will actually be a diy uh mani gel manicure and pedicure at home so make sure you guys are on the lookout for that and i will see you guys in my next one